today we are we are going to study sources of energy now what is energy as you have studied before energy is the capacity to do work now it's interesting that i'm defining energy in terms of something that i need to explain so if it is capacity to do work then what is work in physics work takes place when any force causes a displacement and work is defined mathematically as a dot product of force and displacement work is a scalar quantity force is a vector quantity and so is the displacement so if the force applied is zero no work is done if the force is applied and the displacement is zero no work is done also if they are 90 degrees to each other the force and the displacement then there is no work done now this work if it is done by a force it uses energy so if energy is possessed by a body then it is capable of doing work and vice versa if it does work it it definitely meant that it had energy they are not one and the same thing but they are related to each other by this fact that none exist without the other therefore they have the same si unit of joule j o u l e okay but it is called as in short it is written as capital j now energy is very very important in our life for the simple reason that nothing can be achieved without using energy imagine you are starting out from home coming to school getting ready what all do you do you use electricity that is electrical energy to get ready right you put on light you put on geyser you also need heat to heat up the milk and have it before coming breakfast then you use either petrol or diesel to use a bus or a car or or a scooter to come to school you also sometimes cycle so therefore you if you are cycling you are using your muscular energy to come to school muscular energy to come to school so energy is these are are they the sources of energy well i would call them the forms of energy so energy petrol can be called as a source but basically what we do is use its chemical energy chemical energy so these are the forms of energy these are not the sources of energy but you do need energy to uh, for to achieve a simple thing like coming to school then you need to people work at home they work in offices they do physical work they do mental work industries run on energy in fact the whole country needs a lot of energy so energy is very important that because nothing can be achieved nothing can be done without energy but what is the problem the problem is that energy gets used up if it gets used up then then is it against the law of conservation of energy you have done the law of conservation of energy what does it mean and what does it say lot of law of conservation conservation of energy it says that in an isolated system in an isolated system the total energy of the system remains constant it cannot be created it cannot be destroyed it can change form from one to another it has many forms it has mechanical energy heat energy chemical energy electrical energy magnetic energy gravitational energy nuclear energy sound energy light energy these are the main forms of energy so they can change form from one to another in an isolated system you cannot destroy energy and you cannot create energy remember that mass and energy are equivalent we'll come to it later on when we discuss nuclear energy so in an isolated system what is the meaning of isolated system a system which does not have any interaction with its surroundings it's a closed system so in such a thing in such a system the energy remains conserved so what are we worried about if the energy remains constant it cannot be destroyed then what is the botheration the problem is that energy often 
is changing form into certain things which are useless. For example, suppose you have a candle and you burn the candle. So, the candle's wax, candle's wax changes form, its chemical energy is released. So, candle wax is, its energy is released, chem chemical energy and it takes the form of heat and light. It burns, it gives you heat and light. Now, can we, can we collect the heat, can we collect the light to turn it back into wax? No. So, whatever heat, if you have not used, whatever light is emitted and if you have not used, that energy is wasted. Okay? Even if we use the heat, it is some part that we can use. The light, some part we can use. A lot is wasted, gone. Gone in waste, okay? not destroyed. There is a difference. Secondly, suppose you are talking about uh, a hot body, a hot body just cold, uh, kept in a colder surrounding. So, if there is a colder surrounding, surrounding, then the heat will flow, heat energy will flow from hot body to cold body or surrounding, still the temperature of the hot body is equal to the surroundings. Now, this heat which has been hem emitted, heat is often shown as a triangle. This heat which has been emitted, can we collect it just by the body, can, can it collect it and go back to the original higher temperature? No. Similarly, a third example, suppose you have a, a ball rolling on a surface, a normal surface. You know that Newton's first law says that the once it is given some velocity, it will continue to move with that velocity in the same direction, unless an external force is applied. Now, you know that after some time, the body comes to the velocity becomes zero, the ball stops. So, first of all, when it was moving, it had kinetic energy. When it stopped, the kinetic energy became zero. First of all, why did it happen? There was an opposing force of friction and therefore it stops. Then where does this kinetic energy go? If it has become zero, then it has gone into, you do not see it, but it has gone into heat and heat is lost to the surroundings. So, basically what has happened is that the energy gets dissipated into the useless forms and therefore, we are short of energy all the time. Right? Energy is required, as I said, to, to run anything and everything. 